Hello, my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Thank you for joining me one more time today. If you guys caught the first two videos today, we were talking about the unusual spikes in radiation around the Western United States primarily, but other areas as well. You know, there was spikes in uh, North and South Dakota. There was a spike in Hartford, Connecticut as well. So it was really interesting because, you know, generally speaking, as far as CPM, which is a unit of measurement of radiation, and I recognize that there's different types of radiation as well, but just what is being monitored on a re regular basis, you know, you want to have between zero and 50 CPM as a regular, you know, a good reading, normal. And so when you get to 51 to 99, you're at medium level and you should be checking the regular, the, the reading regularly. And if you're over 100, it's high level, closely watch the reading and find out why. And if you get over a thousand, then evacuate immediately. Um, so we had a lot of cities, a lot of locations in the U.S., many actually, uh, checking in over 300 and some as high as 550, which is really high. And I checked over in Europe just to do a comparison and there was only one location that was in around 250. So what caused it, apparently just over the U.S., granted we did not look at South America, I didn't see any monitoring stations there, did not look at Asia besides Japan, and also we didn't look at Australia and Africa, so not an absolutely clear picture of the entire globe, but at the same time, it was unusual, all those numbers, and there was three locations that went to RADCON level five, so they were hitting like all-time numbers. Interesting. That was, by the way, Portland, San Francisco, and Albuquerque. And now Phoenix came in with around, I want to say a 339, if I remember the number right. And this is the skies in Phoenix this morning. So looking at the comments on those two videos, it seems like everybody is seeing a lot of funny-looking clouds in the sky today. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, you know, a lot of these things, you know, uh, I think there's a word or two for it, but let's just call them funny looking, you know, clouds that sometimes come like grid work, sometimes like tic-tac-toe, uh, you know. So this is Phoenix. There was a lot going on there. And it was interesting that people at the locations that where it was spiking saw a lot of cloud activity, a lot of these funny looking clouds. And so this is Albuquerque, New Mexico. My name is Kelly. I just wanted to, I was watching your program this morning about the radiation spikes across the United States. I'm in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And everything I'm showing you right now, these are not clouds. It's all chemtrails that have spread across the sky. She said I'm facing word. towards the South Valley where you were saying that huge spike is. But uh, we have not had, I mean, the skies have been so clear here probably the last two weeks, noticeably clear, because we always have, seem to have a lot of chemtrails. And then the last two weeks, it has just been unbelievably clear. And it was clear this morning, and now this. I mean, this is just horrible, and we all, there are three of us in my house, and we all have just horrible headaches, almost to the point of, <clears throat> and I don't normally get headaches, where we all feel nauseous. My son woke up thinking he was sick, and he's not sick. It's all of this stuff up in the air. It's disgusting. It makes me angry. People here think it's clouds, but it started out, I mean, there must have been 20 planes at one time with these chemtrails. You can kind of still see the lines, especially over there. You can see all the lines and right there, it's just terrible. But we've probably had at least a hundred go over. So I'm wondering if though that is the cause of the spike or if these are intended to prevent that radiation from coming down to the ground, I don't really know.
but yeah, this is just really bad. Really, really bad. You could just see there's just been, in that one area, probably a dozen or more planes flying. So that was Kelly in Albuquerque, and man, that sky was plastered with all those funny-looking clouds. Uh, she said the C word. Oh, well. So interesting. Did you guys see that in your area? And so now this is Jasanium constant. And, you know, there was a comment, too. Have you ever seen this video? And this is over Kirkland Air Force Base. And he said it's okay to go ahead and play it. Um, check it out. I mean, it's just pretty cool. There's airplanes right over it, too. I wonder what the hell. That's weird. It's turning around and coming back. So it's not like a balloon. Uh, wow. I wonder what the fuck that is. It's really unusual the way this the thing turns around. Beneath it. Right. Because the airport is right there. They would be landing. It looks uh, too big for a drone for a civilian you can't even call that a weather balloon or no that's definitely not a weather balloon now it's nose diving look at that wow that's some weird shit yeah it is that's fucking crazy huh that's like one of those cigar shaped ufos that's exactly what i thought when i saw <laughs> it <laughs> you're like oh what is that that does not look right Wow. It's not a glider, is it? No. I no. wish I had my binoculars. I don't think it's a glider. Cause... Where would it start at? Right? No, that's crazy. Look at how fast it's going, dude. It's like taking off. Like, yeah, it's really, not like really a fast. Because a balloon would fucking linger. Now look how far away. It, did it just pop? No. -uh. It's still there. It's just hauling ass. What I'm gonna go to the fuck? dead end. Okay. That's fucking weird. I think that guy's looking at it too. Huh, he should have that. Look at that. That's some weird shit. That is fucking weird. Sorry about the language, guys. I had like hauled ass, so. That is super weird. It looks like it's kind of flashing around it, doesn't right it? right there at that level. Oops. Man, it's just a like experiment. This is crazy. But you know, I can't even see it. if the Nazis were experimenting with anti gravity back in forty two and even before yeah, that it's, it's, you know there's so much that maybe now they're just kinda of letting out of the bag a little bit and this is their way of letting it out of the bag. So you guys feel that this is ours or somebody else's? That's got to be like a balloon or something. I don't know. Oh, look. There's an airplane that's uh, coming right up on it. Weird. It's turning around. Yeah, we've seen some of these kind of rods before. but And some of them don't appear to be ships but this this looks like it's i would guess this is man-made and i would guess this is a a ship something that has some sort of anti-gravity propulsion i shared with you guys way back around 2000 at the beach i watched for like 15 to 20 minutes what i think was a tr3b and it was only like about three or four telephone poles high so it was low and it was big it looked like a football field across and it was silent. It moved just like a blimp would move. But there was no hum at all. Perfectly silent. And uh, there was lights going on on the corners that were red. And then it every so often had a beam come down from the middle that was kind of a clearish or a clearish yellowish light. So what do you guys make of that? That's pretty interesting stuff, isn't it? Definitely give it a thumbs up. And, you know, let me know what you think about that. It's pretty unusual. Now, let's see if this will reload here. So, and uh, we had another mysterious boom. This time it was in Kansas. Thank you, Mark, for calling my attention to it. Mark in Kansas. 
So what in the world was that? Loud boom, shaking, and rattles. Rattles many in the Wichita area. And Kansas and Oklahoma, they even heard in Oklahoma too. So the best answer apparently is a meteor, but it hasn't been confirmed. So if you noticed any overhead flash at any time, please report your observations to the American Meteor Society. But a series of loud booms shook Wichita Saturday afternoon, leaving thousands of people as far away as Hayesville and Marion County wondering what caused them. Beginning around 1.40 p.m., Sedgwick County emergency dispatchers fielded many calls about possible explosions. And a spokesperson from the National Earthquake Information Center says that their recording equipment has not shown evidence of an earthquake. So we have reached out to McConnell Air Force Base, but so far have not received an answer. Maybe they were testing some of their top secret equipment. Possibly. Ruby Welch posts via Facebook that a boom shook her house. It might have been a sonic boom. So it, it could have been, you know. So they don't know, but it definitely caused attention. And uh, this just caught my eye. So NASA could leave dead astronauts to orbit Earth like space junk. This is all about what's going to happen, because they do mention like making trips to Mars that are going to take months at a time. Inevitably, somebody's going to die in space. It's kind of inevitable. So what to do with the body, you know? And so this gets into uh, some possibilities. You know, one, just jettison it with the trash. Uh, you know, another one is put it on ice. But, you know, that's going to take a lot of room, a lot of effort. And, you know, hauling a body around. So another one was put it in the airlock and then just basically kind of keep it in a bag and vibrate it because in the airlock it gets so cold. Then if they just vibrated it later, later, it would just break off into chunks and eventually become a powder. So what are your thoughts about all that? And then going back and taking a quick look at the Nuclear Emergency Tracking Center, we see, again, um, we see elevated numbers in many locations, but when you see this color right here, that means it's rising. So now there are a lot less rising, and many are coming down, but there's still a lot of elevated numbers, as we see here, Phoenix 339 still. Um, and over here, El Paso 314 still. Let's see if we could take a look over in... Hartford, see if that's still elevated. 330, yeah. So, you know, still some really high elevated numbers. And, you know, unfortunately, you have to click on them all because you might look at something that's green, but then you'll find it's super high. You know, like this over here in Kansas City is 232. This is 331 over in Lincoln, Nebraska. So that's still about the same as it was before. Uh, okay, Spokane, Spokane, <laughs> so I'm going to get ribbed on that one again, uh, is at 276, so it was higher, it was significantly higher, I think it was over 400 if I remember right, so that's come down, Corvallis is 177, so that's come down, so some of them are coming down now, San Francisco, 221, so that's come down too. So being that it's night, I'm wondering, does that have anything to do with it? Is the radiation dissipating because it's night now? Uh, the environment is different? Uh, or has whatever happened, is it just changing? Very curious. Very, very curious. It was an interesting day for that as well. So guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all your comments and uh, always giving us new information, new things to look into. Thank you for your support and Patreon as well. I want to invite everybody to come join us over there for just a dollar a month. You can help support the channel. Keep us going. Uh, as I've alluded to, like the, the first video I did today, it's, it's been demonetized. So, you know, there's nothing that comes in from it, but that's just what they do all the time. They'll monetize it just when it's about 95% done with its views. And so also, we are also on Ko-Fi, where if you felt like doing a one-time donation to the channel, you could do that and support the channel as well there. And then subscribe to EE Arts, our second channel. It's a little bit more spiritually uh, orientated, and we invite you to come over and join us there as well. 
As always, my friends, stay prepared, stay focused, have a plan in case of any sort of emergency. God bless and namaste.